Hi my beauties, thank you so much for being here with me again and a huge welcome to those of you who are new. Today's video is going to help you understand what blessings are coming your way after the lockdown because we're all looking forward to that, right? So we have four piles here that you can make your choice from. We have the Rider Way Tarot deck um, with the Celestite on top of it and the uh, Tiny Ocean Jasper Crystal at the bottom of it. Then we have pile number two with the Crystal Unicorn Tarot, the Amethyst Crystal and the Fluorite Crystal. Then we have pile number three with the Spirit Song Tarot deck, the Appetite and the New Jade. Then we have pile number four with the Yevelyn Tarot, the Unknown Stone and the Pink Tourmaline underneath. So uh, what I would suggest would be to close your eyes, take a few deep breaths and ask the question to the universe what blessings are coming my way after the lockdown. When you feel calm enough you can open your eyes and see whichever of these decks big crystals or small crystals you intuitively feel more drawn to. It could also be more than a pile so don't worry if you feel attracted for more than one and, and you really aren't decided regarding which one is the right one don't worry you might have a mix of messages in both of those piles and sometimes even more but if you feel really um, undecided if you really don't know what are your piles you feel all over the place and I would suggest you have a look at the timestamps in the info box below because sometimes we feel intuitively drawn to certain numbers rather than others. If that doesn't work either then you can try and imagine to turn this deck or imagine to pull up a stone and see which one of these feel the lightest to you or try as well and picture if you can see your face underneath of one of these tarot deck so uh, that would be the one where you can see your face would be the uh, your deck so that th those are all exercises to help you make choices based on your intuition and not so much on your reason reasonable mind do you say that <laughs> anyway so uh also in order to do that i would suggest not to make not to take too much time in order to make your choice otherwise exactly your mind will start working rather than your intuition but of course you are free to pause the video here and take as much time as you need do whatever feels right for you I also need to add a little note regarding the fact that this is a general reading therefore it may or may not resonate with all of you and even just a portion of the video might resonate with you and not the rest so always follow your intuition take what feels right leave the rest and try not get too attached to the results of the reading if you feel that it has a resonated whatsoever we suggest to come back here in the intro and make your choice again but this time really make sure that you feel calm enough there's no high emotions and you don't feel too at too attached to the result um too eager to see an answer um a specific answer yes if you feel that instead it has resonated a lot but you would like to receive more details about your situation then feel free to contact me for private reading there's all the infos prices instructions in the info box below another thing is that if you're interested to get any of these stacks you can find the amazon affiliate link in the info box below and i feel that that's it for now guys so i'm gonna see you at the beginning of your reading Hi guys, if you chose file number one with the Celestite and the Ocean Jasper, this is the reading for you. So I'm just going to keep the Ocean Jasper here for your reference and take the big crystal away. Before we start, I just have to um, give you a little note. So I don't have use of my right hand right now. Uh, so I just need to rest because I had a little injury so you won't be able unfortunately to see the shuffle in camera so but I did shuffle them previously the recording so all we're gonna do is to cut the deck in front of you so still we're gonna draw cards online I mean I haven't drawn them uh, before for you but what I draw before it was a monology card because it was just a little bit easier so we are gonna see this first your blessing coming your way after lockdown we have what do you need to release with the waning moon which is actually perfect time for now as well because we just enter into the waning moon which happened right after the full moon. I'm just going to check if you guys can see the cards properly. 
There you go, it's probably a little bright, yes. Uh, I was just gonna say that we just had the full moon, so we have just started the waning moon phase, which is the best time to understand what is it that you want to release from this time. So it could be that you want to release some negativity from this period that you spent at home or some emotional baggage that came to surface or some toxic people that has been part of your life recently or you want to release uh, your past because finally you have started a new cycle whatever it is um this is the perfect time for you to understand what to release okay and that is gonna be your blessing because when you finally are gonna be able to let go of the past there's gonna be a huge gate of port opportunity and possibilities for you is just when we are too attached to the past and too attached to the negativity too attached to what doesn't serve us that we don't really allow blessing to come our way okay so then we have oh my god i cannot believe i swear to god i never read the cards when i draw them so i'm really surprised like you are probably it just say don't let your past hold you back i can't believe because we were just talking about it amazing and then we have don't let pride get in your way with the full moon in leo so it could be that you have strong leo in your chart whether it's sun moon rising uh, but doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, it could be though that you are not, you're having a difficulties uh, letting go of negative elements from your past because of your ego. So it could be that maybe you have been into an argument or a fight and you would really want to be the one with the last word and so because of that you're still having troubles letting go of um, whatever adversity you had to go through or conflict so if you can let go of the need to be in the right or the need to be the winner the need to be the one with the last word you are gonna allow blessings to come your way a lot easier okay because otherwise if you stay in that mental stage you're still gonna filling up your mind and your heart with negative memories from the past that doesn't serve you anymore okay but i feel that this is a beautiful advice for you to allow blessings coming your way so let's see now what are those blessings with the tarot card All right i'm gonna place this in a corner and cut the deck which is the right away tarot by the way i said it in the intro but if you haven't heard there's all the amazon affiliate link in case you are interested to buy any of these decks so you can find them there so let's make this cut now for you pile number one so there you go blessing coming your way two of pentacles clarified by just realizing you're too far away from the cards there you go two of pentacles clarified by two of cups in reverse so there's a lot of indecision here with the two but at the same time i feel that hmm let me see the others and then we're gonna talk about it we have the high priestess clarified by the judgment so i see that there is gonna happen a moment of understanding a moment of clarity a moment of enlightenment in your life where you could possibly make a huge decision regarding your life you could possibly get to the point where you finally have this huge realization which come right from the deep subconscious of your soul right from your intuition as well so i feel that i see the duality here as well with the two different colors black and white and you in the middle being able to create balance and harmony within this and decision so you come out of the lockdown with this huge indecision regarding should i keep nourishing this romantic connection or not there is a bit of resistance so there could be 
somebody coming your way and you might not expect it or if you did expect it you still created a bit of resistance within yourself so you don't know if it's the right time for you you don't know if it's the right person for you if it's the right experience for you so you're definitely juggling it could also be that you don't know if you have enough time for it because maybe you're trying to juggle too many things at the same time but i feel that you are gonna understand what is the right thing for you absolutely with both the high priestess and the judgment which are both two major arcana there is a massive change happening here which make me feel that you're gonna be able to come out of this indecision and finally understand what is the right direction for you page of pentacles clarified by the seven of cups again we have another card talking about indecision but finally this time is um, coming out of the energy of the seven of cups because it's in reverse so basically this is saying that if you were considering lots of different options before or lots of different um, person people that you were considering as romantic options or if you had lots of um, if you felt overwhelmed at first regarding what should I do because I have so many different passions and interests and paths that I would like to take now that I'm finally free you could be start thinking you could have started thinking about loads of things at the same time and feeling really undecided regarding what is it that you should have done what path you should have take what things should that should you worked on first but I feel that with the seven of cups in reverse you are coming out of that indecision so finally you are coming out of that confusion there is finally clarity within you and with the page of pentacles you decided your part and you decided that even though it's something new something that you might have little experience regarding it you are committed to take this journey so you feel very excited um regarding it and even yeah it really feels like it's something new for you since it's a page and it's not a night and also feels that you are gonna take things slowly exactly because it's something probably a little new for you but I feel that you're gonna be loyal to this plan um, because the pentacles are one of the most trustworthy um, suit uh, of the deck as well they might be the slowliest but at the same time they are the uh, most trustworthy indeed so there's something it could also be a long-term plan that you're gonna start now after lockdown and that is gonna take quite a long time before develop developing or something that it will have um a great influence into your life for many years after you're gonna start it so we have seven of wands upright and six of cups again there is this soulmate connection come back soulmate connection are indicated from the two cups and the six of cups and you have both of them right now and i feel that that indecision that we were talking about that confusion is probably regarding this romantic connection because we have here fighting for the soulmate connection and getting past any obstacles or any um yeah any com conflict that you find on your way so you feel very determined to get past anything in order to get to this reconciliation with somebody that could also be somebody from your past from your childhood and also we were talking here about don't let pride get on your way and don't let your past hold you back and what do you need to release so it could also be that you had some argument some conflicts within your partner or uh, whatever personal love interest uh, it could also be relative but it seems that you had created a distance between you two and so you were really undecided at first regarding what to do with this person but finally you're coming out of this confusion and deciding that it is really worth fighting for this connection and so i feel that you are actually able to let 
to let go of the past uh, issues, the past hurts, able to let go of your pride as well. So I feel that that is going to allow you to finally make peace with this person if, you, if it's true that you had an argument. So I feel that after lockdown, you're finally going to have enough wisdom and intuition and you're going to be so much more in touch with your own subconscious that you have a clear idea regarding what is right to do. So the blessing for you after lockdown is coming out of doubts and confusions. So if it's not regarding a romantic relationship, I feel that it could also be regarding your soul path. So if you felt really undecided regarding um, what path to take in your life, definitely after lockdown, you're going to have much more clarity here and you're going to decide to start something new. This could be like a job project because pentacles after, often talk about um, a job offer as well. Could be talking about investment, could be talking about starting a new business on your own and deciding that no matter what, you're going to fight for it because it's your dream since you were a child. That's what I'm sensing here. Okay, guys, so that was the reading for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't uh, forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the, not the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video. Also, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you and see if the reading has resonated and I will answer to each one of you as soon as I can. Also, participate to the polls if you want to have a word regarding the next video's topic. And please be safe and take care of yourself. I really hope to see you guys really soon. Bye-bye now. Hi guys, if you chose pile number two with the amethyst and the fluoride, this is the reading for you. So I'm going to leave the fluoride there for your reference and leave the big crystals um, on a side just to have a bit more space before we start I want to remind you that unfortunately for a few days I won't have use of my right hand because I need to rest so I won't be able to show you the shuffle in camera but I did shuffle them previously the recording and what we're gonna do together is 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 that we're gonna cut the deck together so you're still gonna see the drawing of the cards on a live but uh, what I decided to draw instead, it was the uh, Monology card because it was a little easier to do that previously. So this is the first thing that we are going to have a look at. So we have the end of a tough cycle approaches with the full moon in Capricorn. That's amazing. Then we have nothing will come out of this situation with the void of course moon which is not necessarily um a negative card at all but now i'm gonna explain it to you and then have faith in your dreams with the waxing crescent moon that's really promising guys so it seems that you guys have been through a tough time so it could be that the um, lockdown or um, this coronavirus period hasn't been very easy on you uh could be that you have several difficulties um regarding regarding yourself it could be your physical body your emotional body your mental body um it could also be that you had concrete difficulties like uh, regarding job and rent and things like that but um, whatever it is that you went through, uh, the cards are telling you that it's finally going to go to an end. And also they are saying to you that if something happened that you are scared of the consequences, then they are saying to you that you don't have to worry because there's going to be no consequences regarding whatever happened okay so if for example you were worrying regarding your business because there has been a huge uh, standby uh, then you don't have to worry because it's not gonna be over the uh, tough times is over but then it doesn't mean that your dreams are over indeed they are saying have have faith in your dreams so even though you had to put a break on your dreams and or business or whatever it is um it's not an end forever and this wood of course moon is a sp very special time of the moon where 
uh, before entering a new sign the moon is basically floating in space and is not close to any other planet the four is a is a moment where we're usually advised not to make huge decision or not to come out of our daily routine because anything new that we do is not gonna end up where we want it to go or if we buy something is not gonna satisfying us as much but also the time where if we need to have a very difficult conversation with somebody like breaking up with somebody or quitting a job or you know admitting to somebody that we did a huge mistake um it's the best time devoid of course moon because it means that that person that we're gonna talk to is actually gonna be so much uh, nicer and understanding towards us or it's gonna forget about it all as soon as the void of course disappear is like they had a little memory loss I mean not literally but it's the best time because there's not gonna be heavy consequences so if this resonate with you is something quite difficult happen to you then uh, they want to say to you that not to worry because it's all um it's all gonna be good okay you're not gonna face any bad consequences and your your dreams are still gonna be alive and there's gonna be blossoming again all right so i feel that for the majority of you you were probably worried about being able to continue with your dreams and your business and you're probably worried that that was going to be over, but it's not. So let's have a look now at your blessings as well with the tarot cards and place this on the side. Okay, so as I said, we will only be able to count the deck together for pile number two. And we're going to get all the cards from the top. We have the full in reverse. Excuse me. I'm just going to focus the light. Seven of Wands in reverse. Then we have the Temperance and the Two of Swords. Then we have Eight of Wands, Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Blessing coming your way. So I see here with the there has been a break regarding a leap of faith so it could be that you were thinking about traveling or you were thinking about uh, starting off with a new business or you were thinking to do something new that you never did before like an adventure and there could have been obstacles your way that you weren't really able to face okay you might have felt really restricted because you weren't able to do this um you weren't able to follow your dreams and projects but a universe is saying to you that that was absolutely a blessing for you you needed that time to step back and really think through about your plans and really get in touch with yourself and create more harmony and balance within yourself even though you might have felt very frustrated at first because usually you would be the type of person that would fight uh, against any obstacles that come your way and you would feel so excited about doing something new and even if you would have people around you saying you what are you doing what on earth are you going to do now what on earth are you going to do next and you would still be very uh such a free spirit and you wouldn't really care about people going against you or uh, you always find a solution so this lockdown has been quite hard on you because it was something that you weren't able to go past it's something that you couldn't rebel against and it's something yeah that you had to mm, how do you say give in and 
so but the universe is saying to you that everything has a purpose that this was uh supposed to give you the blessing as well of finding peace and harmony within yourself as we said and finding balance i see here that there could be like conflicting thoughts regarding which path should you take and i feel that this time has been really good for you to finally understand what is the right path to you okay so there's gonna be a lot of travel possibly after lockdown or a lot of communication a lot of messages that you were waiting for but i feel that for the majority of you is regarding travel because we have also have the full and the eight of wands here and i feel that you probably needed this travel you needed this adventure to heal yourself from a heartbreak that you probably had in the past and and also finally you're gonna have so much more opportunities around you to realize that you are worthy of love with these four o caps as well so finally all these opportunities are and um, it could be events people that you meet travel places that you're gonna visit and they're all gonna enlight like lots of different bulbs within your mind within your heart and that they're gonna finally give you the understanding that what you were looking for was always been it's always been in front of you the reason why you felt like your dreams were unreachable is only because you had um, a, a strong belief that you weren't worthy of that lack or that you weren't worthy of that love and that's only because you've been really hurt in the past from somebody that might have abused you mentally or um, physically but not necessarily but either way it could be that the rejection from this person um has created some deep wound within you and making you feel that you are not worthy it could also be that the person you've been with hasn't been bad towards you at all but probably it could also be that you have lost this person because of natural reason although I really hope not uh, in a way whatever happened in the past has created a lot of wounds within you and therefore um making you believe like things always happen to other people and not to you like good things um and that you were destined to just wait and wait and nothing would have never happened and i feel that you my dear are gonna have so many new doors that are gonna open for you it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be overwhelming it's even gonna make you feel confused like Oh my god how can i go in all these places or at the same time how can i visit all these people at the same time or it could be you could be surrounded by lots of people that are gonna give you a total different understanding of yourself and all of this is, is finally gonna heal your heartbreak from the past so I feel that the lockdown itself has prepared you, has created the fertile ground for you to embrace all of it that is going to happen right after lockdown and finally receive all those blessings. But you need it first to create this calm within yourself first because it could be that before you were quite impulsive and living without being fully prepared about what is it that it was going to happen to you after so Mm, or that you would have started traveling without really having a direction which is not necessarily a bad thing sometimes it's good to go with the flow but it could have made you feel lost on the process and lost not just physically but like emotionally lost so um, they are saying to you that the lockdown itself has been a blessing for you and whatever is going to happen after is going to be so magically overwhelming to you and it's going to definitely help you to heal all those past wounds that you definitely deserve and there's going to be so much traveling here okay 
and if it's not traveling is a lot of communication from your friends from people that really care about you you're gonna travel towards them like even if it's in the same country or they're gonna travel towards you they're gonna visit you and you guys are gonna feel so inspired together you're gonna have so many ideas of things that you could possibly do together in the future and they're gonna make you feel like everything all the possibilities were already straight in front of your eyes you were just not able to look up and see it okay so that's what i have for you now today and there's gonna be lots of other videos like this coming up again so check them out if you enjoyed the content of this video don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet and also click the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that i publish a new video and usually i tend to post about three videos per week but I also wish to do a bit more than that. And if you want, I would love to hear from you. So pop a comment down below to tell me if the video has resonated with you. And I will answer to each one of you as soon as I can. Also feel free to uh, participate to the polls if you want to have a word regarding the next video's topic. I always ask you guys and I'm always really looking forward to hear your opinion. So that's it for now, guys. Um, mind yourself and stay safe. And I really hope to see you guys really soon. Big hugs. Bye bye now. Hi dear, if you chose spell number 3 with the appetite and the new day, this is the reading for you. So I'm just going to keep the new day for your reference and take the big crystals away. So uh, as a little note, I just have to remind you that since I don't have the use of my right hand these days because I need to rest after a little injury, I won't be able to show you this shuffle in camera, but I did shuffle them previously, the recording. And what we're going to do together is to cut the deck together. So the drawing of the cards is still going to be on uh, live. But the ones that I've already drawn before the recording are the monology cards, just because it was a little easier. I haven't seen what is it behind it, so it's going to be a surprise for both of us. So let's see, we have take time to breathe out with this disseminating moon. I love that color. And then we have nothing is yet set in stone with the mutable moon. Take time to breathe out and nothing is yet set in stone. And it's time to release negativity with the full moon in Scorpio. Okay, so I feel that after the lockdown, a huge blessing for you is going to be finally being able to release negativity from your past. And to, in order to do so, um, you are going to have a bit of a rest here, take time to breathe out. So I feel that I possibly... Um, it could be that it's happening already or that it will happen right after the lockdown, but you are finally have the time to reset yourself okay reset yourself your goals your dreams your business whatever it is you're finally gonna have a little bit of time before starting to work on it again whatever it is and it could be that you had some difficulties it could be that you had some problems regarding what is it that you wanted to achieve uh your business and everything but they are saying to you that nothing is lost just yet they're saying to you that not to give up to just take a breath and really have faith that things are gonna go if you're able to release negativity things are gonna go in the right direction because things are still mutable things can still change so don't say the last word too soon okay it could be that you have participated like uh, as you say um witnessing to some loss within your life because of the lockdown so it could be that it has really created some frustration within you but they are saying to you that if you finally have the ability to breed and take a step back and look at the big bigger picture and have faith in universe and release all those negative thoughts like oh there's no point to keep going there's no point to keep working on this it's lost um 
they're telling you that things can actually change in an unexpected way as well so i feel that you are gonna witness to some change that you weren't ex expecting after the lockdown but let's have a look um, more specifically with the tarot deck so let's get the deck together for you pile number three And take the cards from the top. We have Temperance clarified by the Traveler. That's already quite similar to the messages we got because the blessing after lockdown is that you are going to find the peace and harmony and balance within yourself even though things hasn't worked out the way you wanted or even though let me just check if you can see the cards properly sorry i have the impression that it's a bit too bright is it yes so it could be that you had a break like many of us so you probably had an intention to take a leap of faith and then you were um blocked from doing it because of the external conditions so a blessing for you is that you're finally gonna find happiness and harmony within the situation even though things are not going the way that you wanted to and this is an amazing blessing already in itself because you are gonna free yourself from that frustration and from feeling uh, that you are on the unlucky side of the story instead you're gonna feel fate you're gonna feel fate for the universe you're gonna just realize you know what i have no power from this point on i can just let go and embrace whatever comes out my way and trust that it's still gonna give me the experience that i need right now okay so even if it has to delay i don't mind i'm just not gonna force it now and that's gonna be your blessing because it hasn't been easy for you i can tell from the monology card but uh you're finally gonna be able to look at it from a different perspective another thing that i'm seeing here oh really nice we have the six of shells that is like six of cups which talk about reconciliation soulmate connection childhood connection as well nostalgia from the past and i feel that finally you're gonna heal yourself and especially healing the unworthy side of yourself i mean the unworthy beliefs that you have about yourself thinking that you are unworthy of love that it will never happen to you and not just love but this could also be talking about luck regarding business work career success and so a beautiful thing that is going to happen is that you are finally going to start realizing that you deserve it you deserve luck abundance security comfort success love you deserve all of these things so you're finally going to reevaluate the situation reevaluate yourself and we saw reevaluation as well from the temperance card so uh it could also be talking about a reevaluation of a connection that might have disappointed you in the past or during lockdown or somebody that you weren't able to uh, meet up with because of the separation and so finally there's going to be reconciliation and you're going to be feeling worthy of that so you're not going to reject this reconciliation you're not going to reject this union because finally you know who you are and you know that you deserve it so this if if it might have happened in the past before the lockdown maybe you would have still have had those negative beliefs but i feel that the lockdown finally helped you because you had you you've had so much time for yourself probably that it really helped you to heal some old wounds within yourself and to create peace and harmony as we said within yourself okay so there's definitely going to be an amazing union here and then you're going to free yourself from that shadow free yourself from that dark side of your soul or that devil within yourself 
yourself which was convincing you that you didn't you didn't deserve abundance so uh, you're also gonna probably be healing from any addiction if you had a problem like that or obsessions or paranoias anything that has mm, been pushing your you down rather than um how do you say yeah, rather than making you blossom into the best version of yourself, okay? So you're going to finally heal yourself from that negative side of yourself after the lockdown. And then we have the moon. It still talk about the subconscious and finally creating some light regarding that subconscious side of your soul and even bringing to surface some lies maybe lies that you told about yourself that you told to yourself or simply illusions if you might have had like strong uh, delusions or illusion regarding your life like wrong perception i feel that you've been reevaluating the whole situation the whole your life and your mm, your personality as well and your attitude towards life so it really seems that you're gonna free yourself from that dark side of your subconscious which was pushing you down okay there's a lot of uh, darkness in both of these cards the shadow and the moon both in reverse it could also be that you're finally realizing things that were in the dark. They're going to come up to the surface and, and they are going to help you out on your journey. And they're going to help you having the right perception. Let me see what else. We have transformations in reverse. And the queen of acorns in reverse. So it is not going to be easy for you. It is not going to happen from a day to another. But there is going to be transformation within yourself. And you're finally going to blossom into the best version of yourself. As I said, you are going to finally personificate the, mm, the how do you say, you are going to turn into this very strong it doesn't matter if you are a girl or a boy, but you're going to embrace your femininity, your creativity, uh, your fertility, which means being able to create new things, new ideas, new passions, and going after them. It's going to take a while, though, before you get to that level of feeling so alive there is a delay here because there is a first of all a bit of resistance regarding that transformation and it makes sense because if you've been carrying so much darkness within yourself and so much negative beliefs regarding yourself it makes sense that it's not gonna be easy but this is going to happen although it's gonna need some time and we saw here that you were expecting some changes because we had the mutable moon here with nothing is set in stone and time to breathe out and it's time to release negativity and we saw here this is all about releasing negativity and this is all about the mutable moon transforming so you are you don't have to be forever the same person that you've been up until now we change we are supposed to change we are supposed to embrace that change as well so we can write down on a piece of paper who we are exactly what is it that we like what are our goals what are um, our limits even if you write it now from now to five years it might change and we need like the seasons and we embrace them okay so i feel that it's gonna be some it really seems that the monology cards really express the same things that I'm seeing here because the temperance talk about the breathe out even though things are not happening straight away you're finally going to be able to breathe again and then there's going to be releasing negativity and transfor transforming yourself so really these cards really reflect all that we are seeing in the monology deck and I see that finally like these four shells and these transformations and Queen of Acorns 
really work together because if it wasn't for the fact that you're finally starting to realize how worthy you are it would have been impossible for you to walk up the ladder towards the queen of acorns and finally feeling so strong so independent so invincible able to face any obstacles and um, finally determined regarding what you want to do so it, everything is really connected and also when we when you step into that best version of yourself which feel like anything is possible and you can achieve whatever you want then that's the base phase where you're going to attract your soulmate into your life so i feel that there's going to be amazing changes coming your way it's not going to be easy it's not going to be uh, the quickest transformation of course but it's going to bring amazing fruit into your life my dear so let me know if the reading has resonated even if not now even in the future i would love to hear from you so pop a comment down below and i'll try and answer to each one of you as soon as i can and if you enjoy the content of this video don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet and also hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that i publish a new video which is gonna be about three videos per week or sometimes even more um which i'm gonna try so also if you want to have a word regarding the next video's topic feel free to participate to the polls which i always do them before posting a new video so you're welcome to let me know your opinion and if you're interested in a private reading feel free to contact me as well and there's all the infos in the info box below and also there if you're interested to get these decks that i've used into your reading you can find the amazon affiliate link in the info box below so that's it for now guys thank you so much for watching and for your amazing support stay safe mind yourself and i'll see you soon bye bye guys hi my loves if you chose spell number four with the yevelyn tarot the unknown stone and the pink tourmaline this is the reading for you so i'm gonna keep the pink tourmaline there for your reference and take the big stone away i didn't say it in the intro but i don't have use on my right hand for a few days because i don't know it just hurts i woke up like that so you're not gonna be able to see the shuffling in camera but i did i did do how do you say I did the shuffle previously the recording and is it wasn't just not uh, it was just too chaotic for you to watch it so I uh, cut it out but we're gonna cut the deck together so you know that I'm still drawing the cards live I haven't pre-picked them for you but what I pre-picked it was the monology card decks because it was just easiest but I promise I haven't looked what's behind so it's gonna be a surprise for me as well so plan number four what are your blessings the answers you need are coming with the full moon in gemini that's amazing i'm just gonna find the right focus there then we have be bold and make the first move with the cardinal moon and then a win-win outcome is forecast with the full moon in libra okay so it seems that your blessing regard a connection between you and somebody else because the full moon in libra um the libra is definitely a very sociable sign and also here with the win-win uh outcome it means that you and somebody else are gonna be very happy of the outcome of this specific situation because it's gonna be balanced okay both of you are gonna feel very satisfied and take to care of and you're gonna feel like both of you are um, receiving the same gifts from universe so there's gonna be an equal give and take between you two so definitely i feel that your blessing are gonna regard um a connection with somebody and i say that as well because of this cardinal moon be bold and make the first move so it could be that you are romantically interested into somebody or it, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic this could also be regarding um a new job offer or something um or a new job that you're gonna be part of a new project uh, whatever it is they're saying to you that 
you are going to find the answer to your question. So if you had a bit of indecision regarding what were you supposed to do, then they're telling you, finally, you're going to understand what's the direction, what is your part. And I feel that your part is to be bold and make the first move. And that is going to benefit you and whatever is on the other side of this connection. So we're going to go more in depth now, having a look at the tarot deck and placing this on a side for now. So let's cut the deck for you, pile number four. What are your blessings coming your way after the lockdown? There we go. We're going to take all the cards from the top. We're going to get eight cards. We have the Hierophant in reverse and the Empress in reverse. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And the Knight of Cups of Pride. Then we have the Devil cards, which was exactly in the same position in the previous reading. The Two of Cups, the Magician, amazing. And the Star, this is so cool. So I hope you can see everything well, yes. Let me see here. Here I see a couple again with this between this Hierophant and the Empress. Both of them are major arcana. Both of them are really powerful character. And I feel like the Hierophant is very traditional and follow the rules. It's very good committing. And the Empress is very independent instead. Very good art. Um, manifesting her dreams on her own, very independent. Did they say independent already? Probably, yes. <laughs> so, and she is in this state of sitting there and just looking at the fruit of her labor blossoming in front of her. So, she feels very at ease with herself, very uh, capable. She, uh, there's so much abundance in this card and so much creativity. She's the mother of all the queens. So, you can understand she uh, contains all the good qualities of the queen together in one single person. Very mature person, very nurturing, very caring okay and both of these people are very capable of taking care of a commitment or taking care of a family okay it doesn't necessarily have to be talking about family here but I see that there is potential here for a very strong partnership and people that between two people that can respect each other so that's why we saw as well the win-win outcome thing is with these two cards in reverse yes there is potential but there's gonna be delay before these two people are actually gonna get into union we see though that with the seven of pentacles um and then we have the knight of cups it could be that it could be that now during the lockdown i kind of have the feeling that this kind of talk before lockdown and this after lockdown so we kind of talk about the uh following of the events uh on a sequence because here with the seven of pentacles there is a bit of feeling like giving up on your dreams giving up on on a connection if this is regarding this connection and possibly also giving up regarding like not waiting anymore for this love offer to come your way so again I have the impression that this is for most of you regards a romantic connection as I said before when I saw this be bold and make the first move card actually this knight of cups is pretty bold and making the first move is gonna go with a romantic gesture and is pretty decisive he's pretty convinced that it's the right thing to do he's gonna go it's going pretty quick quickly and that remind and it's a lot more mature than the page although it's still not as mature as the king but this is still a very good progress sorry it's a little bright so I feel that there is gonna be delay regarding this union possibly because one of you feels like giving up because this romantic gesture will never come but 
it could be this could also be you feeling like oh I'm really sick of waiting now so I'm gonna be the one making the first move because the other person is being very stubborn or oh, I didn't say but the hierophant talk about Taurus it represents a Taurus sign so you or the other person might be Taurus I have to let, have a look at the Empress though because I'm not sure Okay, so I've looked it up and the Empress represent air signs, so uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Also, the Empress is associated with Venus, which rules Taurus and Libra, so it could be any of those signs. And what were we saying? It could be that one of you um, yeah, has been quite stubborn and waiting for the other one to make a move but nobody makes it so both of you were kind of waiting and nearly giving up but then eventually one of you and it could be you because we have the be bold kind of decide that the best thing to do is to finally make a move yourself and we have an amazing uh, thing happening here because finally since you felt this huge temptation to go after this person and um, there's gonna finally be an, an amazing romantic union here with the two cups which represent a soulmate connection so there's gonna be a very lovely exchange a very profound exchange of love here between two people that are finally able to show themselves to each other in a very transparent way they're ready to exchange their cups of love and with this devil i feel that there's gonna be a lot of physical attraction as well so that's gonna be the main um, blessing that is coming your way because finally you realize the power that the power is in your hand because you have all the tools on the table the wands the cups the swords and the pentacles to finally manifest your dreams so finally the blessing is that you finally realize that um, it's all up to you that if you keep waiting for life to happen to you then you will have to wait more and more but if instead you decide to be the lead of the situation be in charge then you're going to be able to manifest all the dreams that you want and the star talk about dreams as well um, so we have manifesting dreams all together so it's a double confirm that the blessing coming your way after the lockdown is that you are going to be able to manifest all the dreams that you need especially regarding a union which could be for the majority of you a romantic union although it could also be another type of partnership of course but definitely it's going to be something long lasting i feel because both of these people are very um, responsible I see um, so even though there could be some delaying there could be some difficulties for at the start I feel that both of them are very compatible and they are gonna be able to together as well to create whatever they want so this is gonna be the blessing for you guys I'm so excited for you so let me know now or in the future if the reading has resonated with you. So pop a comment down below. I would be so happy to read you and answer to each one of you. And if you enjoy the content of this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And hit the notification down the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video, which is more or less three times a week. So if you don't want to lose any of them, then hit the notification bell and also feel free to participate to the poll. So let me know what's your opinion regarding next video's topic, which I uh, post very often, uh, mostly any time that I decide to publish um, the weekly readings. So uh, there is often going to be a poll there for you. If you're interested to get any of this deck, you find the Amazon affiliate link in the info box below. And you also find there all the instructions to get a private reading as well if you're interested. And that's really it for now, guys. I really wish you to stay safe and healthy. So take care of yourself. And I really hope to see you guys really soon. Thank you so much for all your support. Big hugs to you. Bye. Big hugs to you now. Bye-bye.